hello folks uh, so this video is the continuation of the last one where we created these three lines of code here and uh, in this video we are going to proceed further with the remaining uh, code to execute or run this uh, sample flask app okay so next we need to do is uh, create a function underneath uh, this particular uh, flask app and that function is going to be test okay so generally what we do is we keep the name of the endpoint and the name of the function same okay and uh, whatever whatever code we write beneath this particular uh, decorator uh, at the rate app dot route so whatever we code we write under this line it will get executed okay so we will type return uh, a message like flask is being used for development okay so this is the message we want to give on the web page once we execute our flask app using this particular uh, endpoint okay on the browser so basically what happens is when the user browses to endpoint slash test uh, this particular message will be shown and next what we are going to do is we will create the uh, instance of a flask class and pass in the name variable that python fills in for us okay so it will be like this if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equals to main basically underscore underscore here as well okay then we will run this app okay so what essentially is being done here so this variable uh, uh, which we are uh, passing a, a, as a flask class it will be the underscore underscore main underscore underscore and if this file is being directly run through python as a script okay so if we import the file instead the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be the name of the file where we did the import okay so for instance let us say we if we had a test.py and run.py files and we imported test.py file into run.py the underscore underscore name underscore underscore value uh, the value of the test.py will be test okay so now we will call this particular app.py uh, file on the command line from the directory where this file is stored in our case it is in f drive and in f drive we have a folder called uh, uh, flask sample app okay so this app will run at default port of 5000 okay you will see in a short while okay so let me run this file i saved my file here and i'm inside my folder which is flask app run where this particular file resides so i'm typing python app.py let's enter okay so now you can see that this is the url where i can see my uh you know uh, the flask app running but since we had uh, provided the endpoint as slash test so we need to give the test in front of slash here okay and you can see the default port is 5000 here so let's copy this and create a basically open a google chrome page here okay and paste it and since our endpoint was slash test so we will provide the endpoint as slash test here and we will be able to see the message which we have provided earlier so you can see that a message flask is being used for development is given here which we actually were returning here right so it's the same messages so you can see 
that our app is running in local host so 1.127.0.01 is the local host uh, since it is uh, running on our local uh, system right so if you are browsing uh, uh, from the same machine where the flask is running then you don't have to worry about the ip address uh, which ip address is assigned basically you can just run uh, http http colon slash slash localhost colon 5000 slash test or 127.0.0.1 slash uh, colon 5000 slash test but if you are uh, if your flask is uh, app is running on a machine which have a different ip then you need to give ip of that machine instead of 127.0.0.1 to access this app okay and you can see on the terminal where uh, you ran this flask app a log like this okay here you can see a log like this right so what essentially it is saying is that your flask app is running on this particular ip 127.0.0.1 which is a local host since you are running it on local system and when exactly that particular uh, app initiated so you can see the date and time and what was the request method okay so we have uh, different request methods when we uh, work in uh, you know web related application so we have get we have post right so get is to retrieve some information from the uh, remote server web server okay and post is to post some uh, values okay on the remote server which we are going to uh, see in uh, upcoming videos and here you can see the next uh, value is slash which, which is nothing but the end point and this is the response code which is 200 okay 200 means successful so our app ran successfully that's why the response code was 200 here so guys this is uh, the short uh, video where we have uh, built our own flask app from the scratch and uh, you can see that it is very well running uh, on the browser okay on the given endpoint which is slash test because we provided the endpoint here as slash test had it been only slash then we need not to give any test here right so it can be treated as a home page then okay so this is it for this video guys uh, uh, we'll be covering uh, the upcoming uh, uh, topics in the next videos uh, so keep on watching thank you